Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Levels Daily Devotional Podcast. The Open Levels is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Hie Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I pray that as you listen to today's episode, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's study the Word of God together. Hello. Welcome to today's episode of the Open Album Daily Devotional Podcast. I am Adeleko Bolanle, and today, Thursday, September 19, year 2024, the title of our Open Heavens today is Waiting on the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory. We adore you. We appreciate you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the grace and the strength to be among the living. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that even as we study your word today, Father, speak to us in the name of Jesus. Let your word illuminate our lives in the name of Jesus. And we pray that at the end of it all, the grace to be doers of your word and not hearers alone, Lord, give to us in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Our memory verse for today is taken from Isaiah 40 verse 31. And it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Our Bible passage for today is taken from Psalm 27, verse 13 to 14. And I read from the New Living Translation. Yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let's go into the content of our open heavens for today. Everyone at one time or the other will be in a waiting season. Your waiting season is a period when you are waiting for something that you desire to come to you. A secondary school student is usually waiting earnestly for when he or she will get into the university. The university student is waiting to graduate and the graduate is waiting to get a job. The single person is waiting to get married and the married person is waiting to have children. And parents are waiting for the different stages of their children's life. The waiting goes on for different things at different times. Waiting is inevitable for everyone. However, what you do while waiting is more important than what you are waiting for itself. When people lose their patience with God and decide to do things outside His will to stop their waiting season, they often regret it. In 1 Samuel chapter 13 from verse 8 to 14, Saul got tired of waiting for Samuel's arrival to perform a sacrifice. So he decided to perform the sacrifice himself, which was against the will of God. That action resulted in him losing his throne. In Genesis 16 verse 1 to 3, Sarah got tired of waiting on God for a child, so she gave Agar to Abraham as a wife. So she gave Hagar to Abraham as a wife. She regretted it after Hagar conceived, Genesis 16 verse 4. And today, that action has resulted in great persecution for her descendants. Finding alternatives to God in order to shorten a waiting season always ends in regret. My wife and I were praying for a woman to conceive. At some point, she got tired of waiting on God and went to see a herbalist. She got pregnant quite alright, but the pregnancy that should last for only nine months remained for years. The last time I heard about her, 
she still hadn't given birth to the baby. Every alternative to God gives permission to the devil to oppress you. The reason we have many internet fraudsters today is that you, many young people don't want to go through the correct process of making money. What they don't know is that although they could get a lot of money quickly, what they will have to give in exchange for that money is their very soul. Matthew 16 verse 26 says that this is foolish because there is only loss in a fellow gaining the whole world and losing his or her soul in the process. Don't be foolish. Wait on God. It will surely come true for you. Hallelujah. We bless God for the word the Lord has sent to us today that says, waiting on the Lord. Waiting on the Lord. Being somebody that have waited for something desperately at a point in our life, I understand perfectly what our Father and the Lord is trying to tell us today. The period of waiting is a period that takes a lot of, let me say, strength for you to pull through. And one of the things that I've learned from experience is the fact that, like, God told, this angel rather, told Elijah, he said, eat, for the journey is far. And then he fed Elijah so that Elijah can run and even outrun a chariot. That is exactly how we are supposed to prepare for the waiting period, especially when you are not waiting and it seems as if oh, everything you need is available. We should learn, lean on God. We should get more of God because how much of God we know is what will keep us during our waiting period. So like our Father and the Lord told us today, there is no point gaining the whole world and losing one soul. So we must be willing to wait on God and one thing is very sure, as long as the heads and the heavens remain, God's word will not fail. And I believe it so strongly that God's word will not fail you, neither will it fail me in Jesus' name. Amen. A key point for today. Every alternative to God gives permission to the devil to oppress a believer. And a hymn for today, standing on the promises of Christ my King. A Bible in one year is from Ezekiel chapter 47 to 48. Shalom. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. I believe you have been blessed. If you would love to reach out to us, kindly reach out to us via this phone number. Plus two three four eight zero five 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 four eight five two three. And if you want to reach us, reach out to us. If you want to reach out to us by email, you can reach out to us via the email contact at beautifulrosesnigeria.org. And also, if you like to sow into this podcast, you can also reach out to us via the website there is a place for donations there or you can also send us an email and you can also visit our website for more educational and christian content thank you god bless you and have a great day bye